Hi, I'm Jenny. Welcome to Mysterious Writings, the place to find treasures, puzzles, and games. And in this episode, I cover the top 10 armchair treasure hunts of all time. An armchair treasure hunt is a produced hunt with clues leading to a hidden treasure. If you can solve the clues, you can claim the treasure. This may be done by either physically finding a hidden treasure or by some alternative method, such as sending an email that includes the answer to the puzzle. Although the first armchair treasure hunt was in form of a book, today there are many different formats. Let's take a look at the top 10 armchair treasure hunts over the last four decades. And just to note, there have been many armchair treasure hunts produced over the years. I've listed over 40 different hunts in my book, The Ultimate Guide to Armchair Treasure Hunts, but even that was difficult to narrow down a list to 40, much less 10. So the following list includes the top 10 armchair treasure hunts that received the widest attention, had their treasures found, and also covers the span of time from the first to one of the best well-known. Let's get to it. Number one, Masquerade. Masquerade is considered the first armchair treasure hunt. It coined the term. It was a children's storybook published in 1979 by Kit Williams. Kit wanted readers to not just glance at his illustrations, but to study them. So he decided to hide clues to a hidden treasure within the images. The treasure was a golden jeweled hair. It was found a few years later and solved by pinpointing letters in the frames of the illustrations by drawing lines from the eyes to the longest digits of characters found in them. This spelled out the riddle, telling a searcher where to dig for the hair. Number two, The Secret, A Treasure Hunt. The Secret Treasure Hunt was published in 1982 by Brian Priest. This hunt included clues to not just one, but 12 different treasures hidden in North America, 11 believed in the US, one in Canada, of which only three have been unearthed to date. The first was found in Grant Park, Chicago in 1984, followed 20 years later by one found in the Cultural Gardens of Cleveland, the, la the latest being found in Boston in 2019. Clues to find the treasures were given in a matching verse and image. Searchers continue to discuss where the remaining nine treasures might be found by scrutinizing over the clues seen in the verses and images. Number three, Conundrum, the Cadbury's Cream Egg Mystery. Conundrum, the Cadbury Cream Egg Mystery was released in 1984. It too had 12 different treasures hidden, 12 golden eggs. These were buried in the UK. The book was written by Don Shaw and illustrated by Nick Price. The clues within the text and illustrations led to safe and precise locations. However, those working on the hunt misinterpreted items in the book resulting in incorrect solutions. Searchers were digging everywhere, sometimes at historical sites or on private lands. This frenzy to discover the eggs became unmanageable and unfortunately, this hunt was discontinued because of the amount of searchers digging up the country, but not before a few eggs were found. These now are worth thousands of dollars. Number four, The Inheritance Part Two, which is now available via PDF, which the link is below. The Inheritance Part Two was released in 1990 by Don Adams. It contained clues to a 20,000 cash and 750 ounces of silver treasure. The hunt was solved in 1992 with the treasure being found at Wolf Creek Pass in Colorado. Treasure Magazine published an article on The Inheritance Part Two, which included an excellent interview with the winners of the hunt. The article conveyed the impressive detective work Nick Boone and Tony Castaneda had done to discover the location of the treasure. It was quite the hunt. Number five, Mysterious Stranger by David Blaine. Mysterious Stranger was published in 2002 by David Blaine, a well-known street magician, illusionist, and endurance artist. The treasure was 100,000 cash and solved in 2004. The book was over 200 pages and consisted of 12 different sections. It was realized the clues were to be found in the margins of the book. Once they were understood and solved, which was quite the process, they led to the location of the treasure. Number six, A Treasure's Trove. A Treasure's Trove was published in 2004 by Michael Stather. It was another armchair treasure hunt with multiple treasures to find, clues being in the text and images as well. The quest started off with knowing 12 tokens were out there to find, but as the hunt went on, it was revealed there was a bonus token, and then even an additional token, making it a total of 14. 
These treasures were valued at over a million dollars. The clues were solved with all claimed and the hunt ending in 2005. Number seven, The Clock Without a Face. The Clock Without a Face was published in 2010 by Scott Templin, Mac Barnett, and Eli Horowitz. Again, 12 treasures were up for grabs. They were emerald studded numbers. All were found within a year, but one. The remaining number was finally found in 2012. Clues to find the treasures were in the text and images. Once solved correctly, they led to a state, a highway, and a mile marker. Except for the last number, it required a little bit more sleuthing. Number eight, Breakfast Tea and Bourbon. Breakfast Tea and Bourbon was a novel released in February of 2017 by Pete Visenet. The book contained clues to a $50,000 cash treasure. The hunt was solved a few months later in July by Coy Lothrop and family. A proxy item was hidden in Hot Springs National Park along Sunset Trail in Arkansas. Number nine, Map of the Dead. Map of the Dead was released in 2016. Its treasure found in 2018 by Beth Coolen. Clues for the hunt were hidden in an adventure-filled novel written by Murray Bailey. There were four stages to the hunt, each increasing with difficulty. The treasure was a golden pyramid valued at around $13,000. A searcher who would first input the correct answer to the fourth stage of the puzzle on the website would be awarded the treasure. It could be solved and then claimed all from home, and it was. And number 10, The Thrill of the Chase. The Thrill of the Chase by Forrest Fenn was a hunt for a chest of gold and other artifacts valued at over a million dollars. In the fall of 2010, Forrest released a poem containing nine clues that led to the chest once understood correctly. In June of 2020, Jack Stoof retrieved the chest from the location. The location was undisclosed at the time. However, evidence towards it being near Nine Mile Hole in Yellowstone National Park has surfaced. This location was known to be one of the most loved fishing spots of forest fens, and the clues can be reverse engineered to fit the location. Most searchers do accept this location as the place where the treasure was hidden. So there was a list of the top 10 armchair treasure hunts of all time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time here at Mysterious Writings, the place to find treasures, puzzles, and games.